Hi, it's Tina Gleisner at Home Tips for Women, and I'm here with Gary. Um, he's got an exciting new home office that is, I think, exactly what you like. So maybe, Gary, tell us a little bit about what you had before, and how did you get from there to what you're going to show us here today? Uh, what I had before was a desk with some drawers and a lot of uh, desktop space but no bookcases, no real storage, not enough storage. Uh, there was stuff all over the place uh, in other rooms because I just couldn't fit it in my office. And uh, we wanted, Donna and I wanted a home office space that was cleaner, had more, had more storage space, had more desk space. Uh, and I went to Greg with those pretty simple parameters. That's that's pretty much all I gave him. We wanted some display space. We wanted some. Uh, let's get the display space. Oh, let's. So, okay. So you got a lot of nice display space there. A lot of nice display space. I uh, still haven't used it all yet, but that's okay. Have uh, bookcases now where we didn't have bookcases, and lots of storage below, including uh, storage that's got Lazy Susans on it, which ah, is really cool. That's really novel in an office. Well, it's nice because they're deep mm -hmm. cabinets and you can get all the way to the back of them. Sure. By simply turning the Lazy Susan as opposed to getting on the floor and crawling in there. <laughs> uh, and it just it worked out really, really well. It's uh, much nicer to be in here for the day, working. Uh, it's easier. Everything's where I want it to be. Uh, it's just, it turned out really well, and uh, the process was, as it usually is with Greg, pretty simple. You give him some ideas, he interprets them very well, and adds a little bit more to it uh, based on what he thinks will work, and we'll come back to you with that. And uh, it's, it's just a very collaborative process, and the outcome is always something that, at least in our case, that we've really, really enjoyed. Mm -hmm. So actually, I want to point out one of those special details. I know when we were talking earlier, yes. you said you wanted more counter space, and you clearly got behind you, underneath the bookshelf, mm -hmm. then you've got space for your printer, you've got space for One your, computer over here. One computer. There's another one over there. You've got another one over there. So is this his and hers? Well, it's more or less, yes. Yeah. But his the, and ours. <laughs> Right, the work and then the personal. We have that at my house too. Mm -hmm. And But what I really want to show, and I'm just trying to figure out how to do it without the sunlight hurting the picture, is because the windows are lower, what Greg actually did is he dropped that yes. desk surface so that you didn't really lose any of your precious sunlight. Exactly. And, and in fact, what I think it does is it actually makes it a lot more interesting to have the variation in the countertops. Yeah, it does. Uh, the different levels is, is kind of a fun little touch. And again, it's just, there was a question of how do we in integrate the desktop with the window without losing the window. And uh, he, he always seems to find an interesting way to solve problems. Right. Because you don't want to throw that space away. There are a lot of dead corners, and why not get as right. much use out of it as you can? Right. Well, thank you very much, Gary, for sharing this story. I think this is a great home office story. And if anybody wants more ideas about the magic that Greg Green and Green Construction can work for your home, you can visit them at remodelingnewberryport.com. Thank you.